Hello travelers, hello from Barcelona. Even if you're I'm Valerie, I'm a local in this city and today I want to take you to Barcelona even dance. This place is that for some reason I'm not so touristic, they are not too crowded and they are amazing. So let's skip Sagrada Familia, the icon of the city, this super touristic place. Let's go to the first hidden gem, walk in this kind Not everything in Barcelona walking down by Gaudi. Actually, this hidden gem that I'm going to take you right now is not from Hema. We have other amazing architects in Barcelona, such as Luis Domenech and Montaner. He created this Arnaval site called Sound Fao. And this is only five minutes away from Sagrada Familia, the icon of Barcelona, and this is totally amazing. A little bit of history about San Pau. If you're not interested about this information, you know you have the time codes in the description of this video. Just skip the part, move forward. So a little bit of history. In the 15th century, we are talking about 1401, we had six small hospitals in Barcelona. So the idea was to merge the six hospitals and to build a new one where in the Raval area, in the old city of Barcelona, it was going to be called Hospital de la Santa Creu in the Gothic style that you can still nowadays go and check it out. It's there, it's beautiful. It has a courtyard in the center, like a cloister, and it's super beautiful. After five centuries of uninterrupted activity, they decided that it was time to create a new one. So in the 1900s, they decided to create a new hospital and this coincided with the urban transformation of Barcelona with the Cerda Plan and the Eixample neighborhood. Actually, this is the Eixample neighborhood, my neighborhood, I used to live here and my baby was born in this hospital. So Luis Domenech and Montaner built this Arnovo site called San Pau, Hospital de la Santa Creu y San Pau, and it was working from 1931 till nowadays. We have this Arnovo site that is just for the tourists, and then we have the modern hospital in the back and university. If you want to explore this Arnovo site, which I really recommend, you have three ways to do so. The first one is by a self-guided guide like I did today with a map and that's it, <laughs> super easy. The second one would be to complement it with an audio guide. And the third one, and I didn't know about it, you have the family visit. If you come with kids in between six to 11 years old, they will give you a backpack, a map, binoculars, color pencils. You can have fun with your kids for only five euros. As a photographer in Barcelona, we have photo shoots every day around the most Instagramable spots of the city. But if you want to book a private tour with us, we can also come to places like this, like for instance, the San Pau Arnavo site to get super unique images from your trip to Barcelona. Luis Domenech and Montaner also built another hidden gem in Barcelona, Palau de la Musica Catalana. And because I'm a photographer, I love that place. We're going there right now. It is in the whole city of Barcelona in El Born neighborhood. And actually, I think you can buy the combined ticket for the San Pau, the Arnubo site, and the Palau de la Musica Catalana. So let's go. Travelers in San Fede district in Elbor, which is a beautiful, charming area in the old city of Barcelona. And here we are in front of this architectural jewel from the Catalan Arnavo, which is the modernism by the same architect, by the same, I, uh, by the same architect, Luis Domenet and Montaner, built it between 1905. Ah, this was used in between 1905 and 1908. Fa, la de la musica. We have the Concert Auditorium, one of the most distinctive in the world. Floor, there is this incredible, beautiful balcony all along the facade that has 14 columns. 
it is covered in mosaics all different drawings as a photographer i just love this plate it's so beautiful and travelers if you want to book a private photo shoot in this amazing spot in barcelona i will leave you the link in the description of this video from my website we can have the most fun photo shoots in barcelona Another exceptional site here in Palau de la Musica is the Foyer of the Palau, where we have this cafeteria. Even if there are no performances, you can come and have a coffee. This is super worth it. Look where we are, travelers. We are in Casa Vicente, actually Gaudi's first masterpiece in the city. It was built in between 1883 and 1885 as the summer house for the business family. Oh, wow. One of the things that I love the most about Casa Vicens is that it is not so crowded. We have a beautiful little garden in the ground floor and this coffee shop to enjoy the sunny days. So guys, this is amazing for a private photo shoot with us, the pick a -pick tour. So after this, after the photo shoot, let's check the inside and the rooftop. In 1883, Manel Vicenzi Montaner, a stock and currency broker, entrusted the young architect Gaudi with designing his summer garden home in the former village of Gracia. It is his first masterpiece and one of the first buildings to kick off with the modernist movement in Catalonia and in Europe, actually. Mora Bank, a private, family-owned bank based in Andorra, acquired the house in 2014 and has launched an amazing, ambitious restoration of the building. So before leaving Catherine's ends and we go to the next hidden gem, check my video about Gracia neighborhood. This neighborhood, one of my favorite, super cool, trendy, laid back, but back in time, it was actually a village far away from Barcelona. Can you imagine where the summer houses of the wealthiest people from this city were? So check that video. This house was inaugurated in 2017. So if you haven't been to Barcelona since 2017, it's time to come back to the city. Let's go to our next season, Jeff. the metro, the L3, the green line towards Mondeta station, you will be walking distance from another hidden gem, the Labyrinth Park, and love it, let's go. This is the oldest park in Barcelona from 1792, oh my gosh. And it has a labyrinth, that's why it's called the Labyrinth Park in Catalan, and it's that one over there in the background, but no worries, I'm gonna take you there soon. There is no doubt that this park is the green jewel of this neighborhood, which is Horta and Guinardó, and stay tuned because I'm going to upload a video about this neighborhood very soon. If you are lucky, it will pop up here. It is ideal to play the hide and seek with children. Children love this park and to see who gets to the middle first to see the Eros statue. The park has also a green area for picnics and playground for children at the entrance. So try to work your way deep into the labyrinth park made from white domesticated cypress edges 
you will for sure be tempted and kids as well. A little bit of history, it was designed in 1792 by an Italian engineer, Domenico Baguti, as an initiative of the owner of the state, Joan de Spals, the Marquis of Lupia and Alferraz. At the end of the 19th century, the de Spals estate became the venue of social and cultural events including open-air theater performances. In the 1970s, it was acquired by the city council and it was officially opened as a public park in 1971. I love this street in Barcelona. It's just around the corner from Palau de la Musica and it's called Pasacha Cert. And here there is one of the best coffee places in Barcelona. So guys, if you love hidden gems, hidden streets, hidden corners, secret corners, and woods out of the beaten track, you will check my video Hidden Streets in Barcelona. And also check the guide from this neighborhood, El Born Guide. Well guys, a lot of things in my channel. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss all these beautiful gems from Barcelona. And if you like this video, please like it because I know that I have to create Hidden Gems of Barcelona number two. So guys, if you have a holidays or if you want to live in Barcelona, follow me on Instagram and TikTok for daily tips and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more things about this amazing city, Barcelona. See you next week, travelers. Bye-bye.